today is the day that we get our new home. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you excited? I know, I know. Hi. How you doing? Hello. It's my pleasure to introduce you to your new home. This is the first moment Rue and I have had alone in the van since the reveal. And it's just, it's been so amazing. Welcome to our new home. <laughs> to drive back to the Airbnb now where I am storing all of my things and I'm just gonna sit in the van for a little bit. Look at these guys mean mugging each other. <laughs> Scout, don't be mad. I still love you. You're still staying in the family. <sighs> Big baby blue, hello. <laughs> I am going to leave it beautiful and perfect before I mess it all up and get some really good footage and photos of it in the morning when I have the beautiful sunlight because right now it's getting dark outside and I'm exhausted and I barely ever get to see my family so I'm gonna spend some time with them tonight and then we will tackle this baby in the morning. Welcome to my new home. Come on in. So today is my move-in day. I have until 10 a.m. tomorrow to get everything I own in this van. This isn't going to be the official tour, but I would like to give you guys a look around and just do a quick rundown of everything. Starting in the front, I have an overhead shelf for storage up here. And then I had them make a three way sliding wall for privacy. So I just grab onto this leather handle. It catches onto magnets and then I pull it again. And there's your three way wall for privacy. They cut out these angles here in order to still access the door handle. And then these just lock into place and I'm good for the night. It's carpeted on the other side so you can't see in. It's all black. And then you just push it back in. And then this secures it while I'm driving. These are multifunctional so I can also secure it in right there as well. 
and then it's good for driving. The reason I did a three-part wall versus a pocket door is so I still have access to my passenger seat and it can swivel around. So I can have company in here and I can also open up the space. It lets in so much natural light and it just makes it feel so much bigger in here. This is the custom door that I had made for my shower and it opens perfectly in the hallway. So I can stand there, use the mirror and then have privacy in my shower as well. It's such a beautiful shower. This entire van is insanely beautiful, insanely custom. I can't wait to get into all the nitty gritty details with you guys. I just don't have enough time right now and I want to show you it while it's still beautiful before I move in. Come on in. So moving on to my adorable little kitchen, I got a white undermounted sink butcher block countertops, all golden hardware. I freaking love how this came out. It's so, so beautiful. I got all white shiplap walls. The upper cabinets are a half moon rattan, which was also very custom. Up here, I have my EcoFlow touchscreen panel. We're gonna be making a whole video about my EcoFlow power kit as well, so stay tuned for that. Under the sink, I have my camping stove, a water filter, and a trash can. The camping stove is strapped in, the trash can is secured as well, and that way I have more counter space and can whip out the portable stove top whenever I wanna cook. I also have three drawers for storage in the kitchen, and on the other side, I have my isotherm fridge. Over the fridge, I have more countertop space, and I also got a microwave added in last minute and that is due to not being able to find a single insurance company that would insure my van unless it had a permanently installed stovetop or microwave have you guys had this issue is it just me if you want to see a video about my insurance application process let me know because it wasn't easy but we're here we're insured everything's good I have a microwave. <laughs> okay, let's check out the back of the van. So I got a lagoon mounted table. I am really glad I switched to this. Originally, it was gonna be a pullout table from the bed, but now that it is on a lagoon mount, I can swivel it and put it wherever I want. I can use it as extra counter space and it's just much more versatile. The other thing is it allows my bed to be a lot lower to the ground. If I had the table that pulls out of the bed, it would have had to be higher up, giving me less space between the top of the mattress and the ceiling. This dinette actually turns into a bench, so there's a piece of wood underneath me that I will pull out in the tour video. This is kind of feeling like a tour video. <laughs> the piece of wood goes right here, and then these two back cushions pull out, and they go right there, so I can have a guest sleep here, if they're short enough. If they're not, they can have the bed because I got two mattress boxes on the side, and then I can sleep here because I'm short enough. Another really cool thing about this area is that they made Rue a dog den, which she already loves, and they also made a slot for a food and water bowl down there for her. I got a full-size bed. It's a six-inch foam mattress. It's super cozy, and then just more overhead storage, and there's some custom artwork over here that I'm excited to tell you guys the story about in the tour video. Everything in here, every little detail was handpicked out by me and the interior designer. I could not be any happier with how it turned out. Like it is legit, probably the most beautiful van I have ever seen and it's mine. <laughs> And it's my full-time home, which makes it so much better. I will go over all of the technical factors like the power system and all of the appliances, the solar on the roof, the water tank sizes, all of those things we will do in the tour video. But right now, I need to move into this baby. So thank you guys so very much for being here. I hope you're as excited about this van as I am. It is so, so beautiful. I cried like a baby when I saw it for the first time, but I'm just 
so ecstatic about all of the adventures I'm about to go on and of course I will be sharing them with you guys so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time